Hey everybody, what's going on? Here back again with a things and stuff review. The show where we review things and stuff and make sure the square is in the center or something. Anyway, today we've got uh, one cool kit you can already buy and one cool preview kit we're going to take a look at. Um, but we're back with our old friends, UGG models. Ugh, models. And uh, they will not disappoint. They will not disappoint. Uh, I still haven't finished my little tiny Avenger escort ship, but I need to. And I didn't bring it, and I should have, just to show. Actually, it looks the same as the last video. I think I had a video, like, three, two or three videos ago that shows what it looked like. It still looks pretty much like that. So, so many things working on, especially uh, building tricorders for people. So, that's been kind of occupying. But, uh, yeah, let's check out some of these things. So, um... Uh, this this guy right here is not yet available. We're gonna have a little preview of it, but uh, when they wanted me to show it off, I picked up something else. We'll do this as a little appetizer. Um, what we have here is the UGG models, uh, Klingon D4 slash D7, whatever you want to call it, uh, Klingon battle cruiser. Um, theoretically, this is what the Klingon battle cruiser should have looked like in Enterprise in the episode Unexpected, but they were lazy and various other things happened and they just ended up using the D7 model from DS9 and Voyager, the CG model they had created. So, but uh, it's a very cool design and uh, here it is beautifully recreated in 1 2500th scale. They also have a 1 1000 kit or 1 1000 scale kit. Um, but let's take a look at it, shall we? We've got a nice little set of directions and nice orthographic views. Looks like the Doug Drexler uh, ortho views. I don't remember if this is a Doug Drexler or a John Eves. I should know this and I should have looked it up before I mentioned it, but it's one of those guys, so you know it's awesome. So, or yeah, could be Rob Bonshu. I don't know. It's one of those guys. One of those one of those cool cool guys. Those cool guys. Yeah. So we have a very nice uh, little instruction thing, very simple. You got our nacelle pods, the impulse pods, and the boom. Um, this is kind of a decal placement guide. You do get a little tiny, teeny, weeny, teeny, itsy bitsy set of microscopic decals, which will be fun to put on, but they look very, very detailed. There's a little piece of film over it, but uh, so they look a little hazy, but they're actually very nice. Alps printed. Um, and then there's a little set of uh, assembling instructions about wash and how to do the decals. Sorry, going back to the motion sickness. We'll start off with this very lovely base. Very lovely uh, Klingon base there. Uh, nice solid resin. Very, very detailed too. If you look at it, it's kind of a tapered edge and a nice line going through there, so that's very cool. And I believe they uh, 3D print all their prototypes first and then use those to make uh, their resin or their masters for casting. So uh, the detail on these is spectacular. Uh, let's check this little guy out. Oh, oh, oh! I, I opened it last night, but seeing it again, even it's just so glorious. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see it. We'll try to get make sure the camera stays in focus. But the detail is just outstanding. It is glorious. I'm like, look at that. Very little cleanup to do. Just got to get rid of that. Uh, poor mark and some of these areas just got to clean up that flash i mean it is it is spectacular and the design is so neat looking let's look at these engines these engines are fantastic hopefully you'll be able to see that like look at that tiny little bar there look at that i'm almost afraid to pick it up because i'm afraid it'll i'll do something unfortunate to it and I, I thought i remember him saying when I was talking to him about it, that there's actual little, uh, um, little, you know, wire cast into it so it keeps support. I don't know if it was this part or the boom or what part it was, but it was very cool. And the tiny little, oh, ooh, wow, look at, look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the, the tiniest, this little detail right here, that's spectacular. The resin casting is so just uh, it's outstanding let's see if we can kind of get it together 
I don't know if that's the right engine. Ah. Uh, kind of see what it looks like. This one's hard to hold together, but very neat, aggressive looking ship. I really hope, I doubt Eagle Moss will do this because it's, I mean, it's not as popular as the NX refit and not as the Titan either. And it really never did appear on screen. So it's possible. I really hope they do the D5, their other Klingon battle cruiser that shows up on Enterprise because they've done all of them, uh, all the Klingon ships from Enterprise that I can recall, except for the D5 and the D5 tanker. So hopefully we'll get to see those because um, they did the Augment ship. They did the Bird of Prey, the Raptor and Groth ship. And I feel like that's all of them that I can recall. So yeah, just need the D5 or the D5 tanker would be sweet. But yeah, oh, spectacular. Look at the, like the struts right here. I wonder if those need to be hollowed out like in between there. I'll have to look at the graphic. No, that looks solid. So, oh, so cool. But yes, that's our little, little appetizer. Just a little taste of what UGG Models does. If you haven't uh, checked out the, what's it called? Avenger, the uh, Escort Destroyer Avenger review, check that one out. You can see what that kit's like. Um, but they do all sorts of cool stuff. They got a 1 1000 scale Oberth uh, Grissom type ship. Um, and they've got the like Federation Museum stuff and stuff from that Honorverse book series, all sorts of great stuff. And they got more stuff coming out. Speaking of which, let's get to that thing right now. Like I said, this is a very early release of our um, test shot of the kit. So yours might end up being a little bit different than mine, but um, so basically how this, this ended up happening was I saw them post about this on Facebook and I was like, oh. Uh, uh, it's it's such a cool design and it's their own design that they came up with i mean it has a lot of calls to other other ships and we'll we'll check those out but this is the uss young youngblut i don't know however you want to pronounce that y-u-n-g-b-l-u-t nx628 i guess we'll start off with decals now that we're looking at them but uh really really nice i love these giant pennants and the font is fantastic you got your windows um shuttle bay doors which is very very cool and uh, even got ufp written in there so um yeah yeah like i said it's their own design it's very cool you'll see it's kind of it's definitely stargazer-y but there's a little bit of i mean you could say that the Cheyenne class is Stargazer, you know, the next gen version of the Stargazer, but the way these nacelle pylons look and just how they're angled very much reminds me of that design as opposed to like the Stargazer. Um, but there's definitely a little bit of that in there. There's some, let's pull some pieces out. You've got nacelles very reminiscent of the uh, Oberth Grissom type, um, which they sell these, just these nacelles you can buy as a set or individual or something like that on their website. And they have a name for them, which is, I think they're Soyuz class or Soyuz nacelles, I think, because they are based from what I think, I don't know, I should, probably should have asked him, but I think they're based on one of the prototype drawings for the Grissom or the Oberth class. And somebody took that prototype drawing or the concept art and turned it into an actual ship, you know, like a CG ship um like a couple of years ago and i think the cells kind of look like this um or something like that that, that could have been totally wrong i have no idea but i think that's what it is but very cool very detailed interesting design let me get in there see that but um so yeah you got your orber uh, oberth type nacelles um some interesting little tidbit greebles you got on here uh does anybody recognize this part should look familiar to any uh, X-Wing modelers. You got your trench on there, which I think works perfectly for this because on Starfleet ships, especially TOS era, and I think this is supposed to be pre-TOS, around TOS. I mean, it's pretty low registry, 628, um, and it's definitely got a TOS-like saucer, um, but they had that kind of little spine thing on the saucer, and this is very detailed and interesting. Definitely, I recognize those parts immediately because 
I started a Maquis Raider from Voyager and haven't finished it. Sorry. Because yeah. I bought the resin upgrades, the clear parts, and I definitely recognize these parts. I've seen them a lot. Um, but you got those on there, which I think work really well. I'm sure this is from something, but it's not... It's not jumping out at me at the at this time, but it looks very cool. I love these little impulse engines down here. Um, I just love the shape and detail of it. And this one, I'm not sure. I think the the final one will probably be in this blue resin, but uh, for me, he cast it in this cool clear blue resin, which I kind of want to light, but it's all one solid piece, and that sounds like a horrifying experience. So we'll see. But at the least, I can... Um, take liquid mask and mask off maybe this cool I don't know if you could see it like this dome with this neat um, I don't know pentagonal hexagon something a gun polygonical impulse cover thingy and it looks really cool but if I could get that right just where um, you know you can only you'd have the windows but there'd still be the framework painted That'd be really cool. And then mask off like these impulse engines and stuff like that, but it's a very cool design. Um, much like the Stargazer, it's got like shuttle bays around the rim. You got one here, there's one there, and there's one on the back, which is very cool. Um, what else? More interesting detail. You get some extra big ass um, phaser strips. Now this is one 1,000 scale, I probably should have mentioned that. Um, so it'll be in scale with all your Polar Lights 1-1000 scale stuff. You can see they kind of used a 1-1000 uh, Polar Lights TOS uh, constitution as a base, which is neat. Um, so that's kind of cool. So we got that. Uh, we've got our uh, warp pylon struts. Uh, got some cool detail up here on the top. And some kind of phasers or sensors or something. But that very basic, very basic, which is cool, TOS design. It looks like, which is, oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. So it looks like they actually cast in a brass wire in this. I don't know if you can see it too well. There we go. Uh, brass wire into this, which is really nice, and it'll really help with the uh, support. And here's the other one. And it's hard, but I should mention, hardly any bubbles at all. There's a little bit of flash, but it's super easy to... It's like that really easy flash, not that weird, like, the resin mold wasn't put together right, so you've got, like, a shelf. You know, it's not like that kind of flash. It's just, like, the little overhang stuff and things like that. Um, here we've got our the hull to pylon connectors. Um, they look like they got some Rathacon era or motion picture era torpedo. Those kind of rectangular torpedo launchers with the detail on them. And some keyhole slots. And on this thing, we've got, they designed to have a uh, extra big ass cannon on the front of the ship. Which this is a very, very detailed little part. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, look at that, you got three little emitters in there and all this, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, see there's a little flash on the edge, but that's not too bad. And basically this guy, I need to drill that out just a tad. I don't know if you can see it, but basically this guy will fit right on the front there. There's a big mega cannon or deflector dish, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got, let's stick these guys in here. We'll try to get it together. Some of the parts fit really well, just even without glue, but I don't think they'll all perfectly hold together. Now these are numbered to Let's go on this one. This is a one. So, but I think I didn't, yeah, I was telling the story. The, they were posting about this prototype and I just loved it and thought it was really cool. And then he, they messaged me about doing this little kit preview and I was very happy to do that. So, there you go. So you can definitely see the Cheyenne slash Stargazer uh, feel to it. Like I said, this is just crudely put together. And this might not be the final version either. They might change it a bit. But um, this is just the version I was sent. So, uh, this is a very cool ship. Definitely would fit in 
I think it would fit in like Discovery era. Would be a good, uh, from what the USS Discovery looks like, I think this could fit in that. Kind of time, more angular, more kind of, I don't know, harsh things like this, like how it's just straight up and down. Um, and I'm fairly certain this, people are gonna say, oh, you got them backwards, but if you look at the uh, design of that, it goes like this instead of like this, where you get that gap in there, so. But yes, very, very cool starship. I'm digging it. Um, and we've got, this was the original base it came with, um, but then, which is really nice looking. You can almost wear this, but it's way too big. Um, it also, they made a special base for it. Uh, they might be making a more specific base just for this one that has the name and everything on it, but very cool Starfleet Command uh, a base like that. That'll be fun to paint up and make look nice. I'm not sure which one I'll use, but maybe we'll do a big base with both of them on it or something like that. Of course, who knows when I'll get around to actually building it. You know me. So, but yes, that is the USS Youngblood and the uh, D4, D7 Battlecruiser from uh, models. Um, they got a lot of cool stuff coming out and a lot of cool stuff that's available. They have a Federation Bird of, uh, Bird of Prey coming out, which is like a Reliant type with um, Bird of Prey-like pylons, if you want to call it that. So it's just a little conversion kit for your uh, 1 1000 scale uh, Reliant. So that looks pretty neat. Um, all sorts of cool stuff, lots of conversion parts. Like I said, I think you can buy these... Um, whoop, destroyed, apparently. Uh, Warp engines just by themselves as a conversion pack. These would look really cool on all sorts of stuff. I wish they had, maybe if they had an even like out to here version would be pretty cool to put on a uh, Constitution refit or um, maybe a Reliant or something like that or Miranda class would be kind of interesting. So, but the your creativity is only the limit. So with all the stuff you can do, but yeah, check out their website, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and very, very reasonable prices too, for the, especially for the quality. I mean, this thing is fantastic. Um, hard, I think I found one bubble somewhere and it was just a tiny thing that'll take five seconds to fill up. Um, and just lots of detail, uh, really cool people, great website. Um, and you can also check out their Facebook page, which is ugh, models. So, but yeah. Well, let's look at the decals there. That is pretty much all I got. Um, oh, what the heck. This is completely unrelated, but we'll show it off anyway. Does anybody know what this thing is? Because I didn't. Uh, apparently this uh, Philips little flashlight thing, I have it disassembled. Apparently in Star Trek Generations, it's some kind of Klingon pad scanner thing, um, which I learned about recently, uh, thanks to the Fleet Workshop Forum. Uh, and the Star Trek Prop Enthusiasts Facebook page. So I picked one up and should be fun to redo this into the proper, um, into the proper prop. I think it all needs is uh, some paint and a couple little uh, pieces of deco tape and stuff like that and a graphic for right here. So that's kind of cool. But that is about it. Thanks guys for watching. Um, you need to do the like, subscribe, things of that nature, and check us out on Facebook, Starch Rec Props and Models. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Engage with impulse engines, I guess, and not warp. Mm.